Nora found herself in a strange position. She was the side entrance to a house, but she had no idea how she got here or where she even was, really. She got to her feet and shakily walked inside. She found herself in a pristine kitchen. Pots and plates were precisely placed, but clean and seemingly unused. And much to her surprise, she found a dog standing in the doorway that led to the hallway. Upon catching her attention, the dog turned around and walked back into the hallway, heading up the stairs. Nora followed the dog up the stairs and found herself on the spacious second floor. She felt like she could trust the dog, and so she decided to name him. She decided to call the dog Satchel. And what was wrong with that? After all, all this dog had done was lead her to the bathroom where she could clean up. Nora bathed in the blue bathroom, and after she had dried herself, she looked back to Satchel, who had waited right outside. Satchel was facing the other end of the room, where yet another dog sat in front of a closed door. As Nora walked over, she decided she would deem this dog Polly. Trusting Polly as much as she already trusted Satchel, Nora walked into this room, a bedroom. Nora found two dresses in here and decided to try them on. The first one she really liked, but it was a little short for her preference. The other one fit her more comfortably, and so she decided she would wear that one. Feeling content, Nora began looking around. One of the first things she noticed was a family portrait on the wall. The family appeared to be a happy one, and a healthy one, and Nora wondered if they were perhaps the owners of this house. But it occurred to Nora that the house didn't feel lived in. At least, it hadn't been lived in in a long while, it seemed. And so, Nora began wondering if something had happened to the family, or if there had been a specific reason why they would have left their home. The photograph would reveal no clue to her, however. Acknowledging she would find no answers in regards to the photograph, she turned her attention instead to the window across the room. Her eyes observed an expanse of a new world that she had never even known existed. And one thing in particular caught her eye. And luckily for her, it was straight ahead as she looked through her window. This thing was a cage heart in the distance, perhaps the farthest thing away from her. Nora had never even heard of such a thing, and she couldn't imagine what such a thing would be capable of. As she gazed at it, Nora began to feel cold and distant. Something seemed to be off, and the situation was suddenly very odd. But then Polly barked and pulled Nora's attention away from the window in the heart in the distance. Shrugging it off, Nora followed her new puppy down the stairs and into the living room, where they would relax for now.